Hi, my name is Tim. And I'm Mindy. And we recently took a nice trip to Joshua Tree National Park nestled in the high desert of Southern California. Come along with us while we have our next adventure. First stop was Joshua Tree Visitor Center. It had rained in the morning, so we got a late start on the trail, but everything was clean and the clouds and fog were laying low. Skull Rock was really fun. It made me think of the skull of King Kong. Lots of people were there taking pictures. I could not believe how smooth the rocks were and there was holes in them also. I would hate to be in that outhouse when that rock comes down. The plants were a variety. Some of them were still having the leaves that fall on them and some of them were starting to bloom. We saw a variety of animals, bunnies and birds. We were trying to stay on the trail, but try and avoid the puddles. There were many puddles on this day. Next, we arrived at Beautiful Keys Point, the highest point in the whole park, providing spectacular views of all of the lower desert and the Coachella Valleys. This time, we were treated to other types of views between the clouds, light changes, and clouds constantly shifting and moving. A beautiful time to be in the park. It was fascinating to find out how the Joshua trees got their name. It was amazing to look up and see trees growing out of solid rock. It's amazing where a plant can grow. Lots of steps up. And of course, steps up mean more steps down.
We enjoyed picnicking along one of the many beautiful spots with picnic tables with our favorite Trader Joe's snacks, cheeses, trail mixes, and pretzels. Always, of course, being outdoors, they taste better. An arch always invites people to climb on top of it. This one had people on top and underneath. It was a beautiful arch. Choice Garden was located in the lower part of the National Park. It was a complete area just filled with choice plants. You didn't want to get too close to them because they seemed to jump out and just attach to your clothes. But it was still a very beautiful area to be. You never knew when you went through a rock tunnel what secret garden it would lead to. Many old Western films were filmed here. Also, Tim and I have watched the Cisco Kids, so this was good memories for us. His souvenir was a glow-in-the-dark shirt and then my souvenir had a map inside of the cup. We enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And we'll look forward to you joining us on our next adventure.